Welcome back, my lovely viewer. I'm here to give you a quick update on my active development projects, including Paths of Peril. Salty Gun Labs has finished its alpha update stage, and you can check out the gun system at the game link in the pinned comment. I'm quite satisfied with how the gun system turned out, and it's going to be extremely versatile, allowing us to utilize the gun system across virtually any project we want that needs guns. If we need to make a combat tycoon game, we got guns. If we want to make a zombie survival type game, we've got guns. If we want to make an RP game of any kind, like let's say SCP, we've got guns. And because Salty Gun Labs has exited its alpha development stage, that means we're moving on to bigger and brighter projects, aka Paths of Peril. That's right, in the next couple of days, POP will be re-entering active development, so stay tuned and keep an eye out for development logs in the future. In a later video, I'll also be covering a neat module that allows you to improve visual satisfaction in your games that I've also utilized in several systems in Salty Gun Labs, including the gun view model movement and camera movement. I also wanted to do a quick overview of some of the banger updates that Roblox has been pushing out over the past couple of weeks. The first of which is the introduction of occlusion coin in the game engine, which is a method of improving performance by not drawing triangles that are calculated to be behind other non-transparent triangles. This is a great update because we should see a huge boost in performance across all Roblox games due to the reduction of draw calls and I think the most significant impact of this update is going to be for mobile users, which is about 80% of Roblox's platform, so it makes sense why they're kind of pushing to put this update in. Now, occlusion culling is a 3D rendering technique that's been around for a long time, but I'm glad to see Roblox working towards implementing it in their game engine, and it'll be really epic once it comes out of beta. Along with this, Roblox has also improved their pathfinding service algorithm, and I've tested it myself in POP, and it's really great. I've noticed that the AI's pathfinding is much better than the previous system, especially on terrain. The AI are so much smarter when it comes to pathfinding, and they're able to get to you quicker, and it makes them a little bit more difficult to fight against. So this is great news for POP, because most of the maps are going to be made from Roblox terrain. And finally, Roblox has started implementing some good moderation updates for younger users. Certain types of games will no longer be playable for young users, as well as group wall chats will not be accessible for any users that are under the age of 13. So these are awesome games because they're going to limit young people from being able to go into like social hangout games because we know terrible stuff happens in those kind of games. And the same thing with group wall posts. Group wall posts have been used for a while by different bad actors and predators to try and prey on young users. So finally, Roblox is implementing ways to try and limit and prevent this from happening, which is definitely a step in the right direction. Otherwise, that's all from me. Again, if you'd like to check out the gun system, leave some feedback about it, please do so. You can check it out in the pinned comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.